Hey, how you doing everyone? Haven't posted a video in a while. We've been pretty busy. So, um, we actually just came from the gym. We did a, a tricep and bicep workout. As you guys know, we finished the legs every day. We got extremely, way stronger. So, the routine is going absolutely fantastic. Um, we're now doing chest every day, slightly changing the routine a little bit, doing leg three times a week. So we're having a blast trying the new routine and seeing how much progress we're going to make. Um, now we're going to show you guys a high intensity cardio routine. As you can see, we just came from the gym, so we're eating, um, we're eating some watermelon. And we're having our BCAs a little bit of pre, just so we can get like a little spark into uh, going to the next workout. The reason being is, you know, kind of exhaust ourselves with the workout we did recently. Our body's a little bit fatigued, but the thing is to upstart the body, kickstart it again, take a little bit of sugar, take a little bit of BCAs and some free, and we're gonna have the energy to do the next workout. We're gonna show you guys how we stay lean and how we stay conditioned. As you guys know from my live feeds and the videos I've been posting, we've been doing a lot of different cardio and conditioning workouts and they're going absolutely fantastic. I haven't lost any strength. For those of you that are afraid to do cardio, it hasn't gotten in the way of my strength gains and my muscle maturity in any way whatsoever. So I definitely recommend you continue doing it. Not only that, not only because of that, but because it'll allow you to enjoy food more and you won't have to be that strict with your diet. You'll still lose body fat and maintain a relatively low body fat while doing this as well. The best part and good benefit out of it is that you get to last longer in the gym and do better um, form and workout, well, better workouts in the gym. So, for instance, you don't do cardio, you're trying to get a good workout in, let's say you want to hit the bench and try to get to two plates, you're going to get really exhausted if you're doing five sets. Why? Because you don't have that much oxygen flowing through the body. Once you start doing cardio and pushing yourself through cardio, you're going to have more oxygen to do more sets, more reps, and a better set of weight in the gym. So there you guys have it. This is our post-workout slash middle of the workout meal before we head to the park. So we're going to show you guys what we do for high intensity cardio. We'll see you guys there. Stay massive. <laughs> start off with the stretch before we start off with the 15 minute warm up. Just a little stretch, you know, nothing crazy. Loosen up the, the hips a little bit. Pretty damn sunny out too as well. Fifteen minute warm up. Nice little jog to the park. jog make sure you calculate your 15 minutes now we're gonna go into the into the high intensity cardio training so we're gonna do one minute with about one to three pound dumbbells these are about three pound dumbbells of sparring we forgot the jump rope we didn't put it in the book bag I really want to say Christian forgot the jump rope but whatever we're gonna come up with the third exercise we're gonna do it each station is one minute one minute sprints make sure you calculate that as well so Let's get to it guys before my heart rate goes down too much.
creativity has to come into play. We obviously left the jump rope, so I have to come up with some exercise and just keep that heart rate up. So whatever you want to call this, jumping over the fence to imitate the jumping movement for the car for the jump rope. Go. Okay, that was actually hard as fuck. A little bit harder than the jump rope. That's for sure, I'm already gassed. It's only the first run. Going to the jabs, strong hand in the back, weaker hand in the front. One minute. A little different combinations. First round is up, rest about 30 seconds in between rounds. That other exercise actually really sucks, it gets your heart rate up. Guys, this conditioning training, it varies. Sometimes it's harder, sometimes it's easier. It really depends on how my muscles feel during that day. Obviously, if you're in a strict weightlifting uh, regiment, your muscles are gonna be pre-fatigued and your performance is gonna be affected during the cardio routine. But my my theory is, like I said before, the body will adapt, you will get better when you're fresh and you're rested. But the point is to kick your ass even when you're not rested. Go as many rounds as you can, I'm going to try to do three to four, and we'll see how I feel. I'm fatigued, it's the end of the week, so I'm doing this for you guys. So you guys get a good high intensity cardio routine. worse than the jump rope. I hate it already. Ready? Go. Pace yourself if you're tired. right now it's killing I'm fatigued we just came from a from a lawn arm workout I'm tired but you gotta keep pushing you gotta keep trying doesn't matter if you give 10% you push it doesn't have to be perfect pace yourself and save your energy Make sure you guys stay hydrated while you're doing the workout. If you, have to get, if you guys have to get some BCAs, the watermelon really helped. It quenched my thirst. Like I said, this can be pretty difficult after excruciating, you know, two hour workout, but push through it guys. If you guys wanna be in great shape for the summer, these are things that you have to do. 
permiso, señora. Take my time with it, guys. You gotta pace yourself. I want to be able to finish through it. It's not easy. So the sun is a factor as well. It is hot as hell in Miami right now. So just whatever it takes, push through it. A nice steady pace, and just go through it. Sometimes you just gotta close your eyes and push through it. Just don't close your eyes and trip and fall. I don't know if I can promise you guys five rounds. I'm destroyed. Usually I give myself some time to recover before these routines. Like I'll rest a little bit and do it at nighttime. But straight after the gym. It's pretty fatigued. I'm pretty tired. That was three rounds with a 15 minute warm up. Now we're gonna finish off with a 15 minute cool down back to the house. Guys, you know, usually I do from three to five rounds. I'm gonna keep it short today. I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the different cardio uh, types of routines that I do. This is one of many. Like I said, I do everything to keep myself in shape. I wanna stay ahead of the game. I, I wanna be good at everything, you know, and it's just like endurance is something that definitely helps with overall just every type of training that you can possibly do. This makes weightlifting so easy. So guys, stay on top of your cardio routines, but make them high intensity, you know, some light intensity, but for the most part, keep it up. All right, guys, that's it for the, for, for the, for the workout. Now I'm gonna run back home. Take care, guys.